Welcome back to Coolant U, the 10 part video series that helps you reach a higher degree of knowledge about engine coolant. Made possible by RecoChem, your partner in formulating solutions. In Module 9, we'll explore the best practices for choosing, using, and testing heavy duty coolants, including on highway versus off road vehicles why fleets are transitioning from conventional to OAT coolant, and maintaining HD cooling systems. Big rig trucks aren't the only place HD coolants get used. Construction, agriculture, mining, marine, generators, each has a unique engine design, but they all have cooling systems to keep them from overheating. Every type of HD engine from off-road machines to stationary equipment relies on HD engine coolant. These functional fluids are specially formulated to meet the needs of the vehicle and its components. Downtime for HD equipment can be costly or even pose safety hazards. This is why proper cooling system maintenance practices are so important. Older diesel engines are usually made from cast iron, with radiators made from copper and brass. Conventional coolant formulations are developed to keep them cool. As we've learned, they rely on inorganic additive technology for corrosion protection, also known as IAT. Heavy duty conventional coolant is pre charged with specialized inhibitors that offer protection against cavitation. As a result, conventional HD coolant is referred to as being fully formulated to distinguish it from conventional automotive coolants. Fully formulated indicates the presence of anti-cavitation ingredients. Over time, they need to be recharged with supplemental cooling additives, also called SCAs. There are different corrosion inhibitors in each SCA package, including nitrite. But adding SCAs to a conventional IAT coolant can be problematic if done incorrectly. Overdosing can cause buildup that can flake off and damage a cooling system. Underdosing can lead to cavitation erosion and engine failure. But nitrite, a common ingredient in conventional HD coolant formulations, can be extremely problematic in systems with retrofitted aluminum parts, such as radiators or coolers contaminated with CAB flux. As a result, the industry is transitioning away from conventional IAT-based formulations to newer OAT corrosion inhibitors. One benefit of HD-specific organic acid technology coolant, or OAT, is that it doesn't require any SCA and little to no coolant extender. The organic additives provide all the protection that an HD engine needs, which means there's no risk of adding the wrong type or amount of supplemental product. OAT coolants have a longer service life than conventional formulas because the corrosion inhibitors only work when needed. Strict emission standards have led to adoption of engines containing lightweight aluminum for the on-highway sector. In response, most HD OEMs have moved away from IAT and nitrite-containing formulas to fully organic acid technology coolant that is also nitrite-free. Detroit Diesel, International Navistar, and Volvo are just a few examples of manufacturers who have done so. Maintenance is a major factor that affects fleet operating costs. Service labor, parts, downtime, and asset preservation are all equally important. It can be tempting to save money by buying a low-cost engine coolant, but this might actually end up costing a lot more in the long run. While OATs are a bit more costly, the increased uptime and reduced service costs usually offset the higher cost of the coolant fluid. Throughout their service life, IAT and some hybrid formulations require testing to determine their nitrite levels. Every test involves the technician's salary, test strips, and an SCA or nitrite extender, plus the cost of downtime and a replacement vehicle. For IATs, tests are generally conducted upwards to five to 10 times throughout its service life. Nitrited OAT hybrids, sometimes called NOATs, are tested at least once halfway through its service life. Full OATs free of nitrate, however, require no further cost for the full duration of their service interval. 
This is because there's no need to monitor or adjust a nitrite-free product. Full OAT coolant doesn't contain nitrite, so doesn't attack unpassivated aluminum. For this reason, both the on-highway and off-road sectors, including John Deere, have begun or are beginning a transition to nitrite-free OAT technology. ASTM publishes over 12,000 standards, including those for engine coolants. Most heavy-duty OAT coolant conforms to the ASTM D6210 standard. However, ASTM D7583 is one of the newer specifications to look for, as it qualifies the coolant's ability to minimize cavitation erosion and was developed specifically for nitrite-free OAT formulations. Choosing the right coolant formulation for your application is critical, but the color of the fluid is not the way to identify the coolant's formulation. Nitrite-free coolants are typically yellow or pale amber in most markets, but these guidelines may not be followed in all global markets. The adoption of uniform color to coolant technology type is limited, so color isn't a reliable method. Factory fill and aftermarket product color can vary considerably in different parts of the world, and this is especially true in the HD segment. Always review coolant product specifications and validate its use by referencing the engine's owner's manual, even if you're just topping it off. If OAT coolant is topped off with a conventional coolant, not only do its inhibitors become depleted via dilution, but the inorganic additives may interact adversely with the OAT chemistry. This can negate the coolant's ability to protect the system from corrosion. To avoid problems, always use the same coolant technology type when topping up. Over time, coolant eventually breaks down, becomes more acidic, and can corrode vital engine parts if left unchecked. Routine maintenance is required to protect hoses, water pumps, and radiators. It's also important to drain, flush, and refill the engine cooling system periodically, using the proper formula to protect it. This service also removes rust and scale deposits. Keep a maintenance log, record the flush and fill date and mileage, and service the coolant within the recommended change intervals. In severe service applications, test strips or third-party lab analysis of the coolant can be used. Remember, test strips are specific to coolant technology type. Use the right one for the coolant installed to prevent false positives, especially if measuring for nitrite. To recap, fully formulated conventional IAT coolant works well in older cast iron engines. These are the lowest cost HD coolants however require routine SCA addition. Extended life, nitrate-based hybrid formulas combine IAT and OAT inhibitors. They work well in off-road applications and older engines containing limited aluminum components. Their longer service life makes them more economical than conventional formulations, but still require regular testing. Full OAT coolant is best for most modern HD engines. Nitrite-free solutions are becoming the new standard for all HD uses to protect aluminum parts. With backwards compatibility and an exceptionally long service life, OAT nitrate-free is the premier coolant choice. These formulas require less maintenance, a cost savings that more than offsets the price of the coolant fluid. This video provides a brief summary on choosing, using, and testing heavy-duty coolants and the best practices for servicing HD cooling systems. Our next video explains more about many HD coolant products available. Until then, thanks for joining us at Coolant U, where you always reach a higher degree of knowledge.